everyone welcome back yet to another video today we're going to be covering the gigabyte b450m ds3h motherboard we're going to be taking a look at the bios um, seeing how much we can uh, squeeze out of it as far as overclocking this is not an overclocking overclocking oriented motherboard i'll tell you that right off the bat but if you're looking to do a you know a mild overclock if you're looking to build a system that is not going to cost too much, you know, you're thinking about the budget there, you don't want to break the bank, this may be that motherboard or, you know, a good option for you. Of course, you can always go for the ASRock B450M Pro 4 um, motherboard here for around, you know, $5 more. Uh, but that's not what we're looking at today. We're looking at this motherboard and some of the features that Gigabyte has to offer for around $75. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that you get with the motherboard. You get two SATA cables, one at a 90 degree angle. You also get your back plate. This is all metal. There's no, unfortunately, there's no cushion on the back of this back plate or IO plate. And uh, here's your driver CD, which we're not going to use. We're going to go to the website, to the Gigabyte website and get the drivers from there. The latest drivers, that is. You also get a multilingual installation guide and uh, some warranty uh, papers. You may want to keep those. And uh, okay, so now it's time to look at the motherboard itself. All right, guys, so aesthetically speaking, the motherboard looks very presentable. It looks very nice, despite the fact that it doesn't have that matte black uh, color to the PCB that I, I'm attracted to. <laughs> just my personal preference but uh, yet yeah, it looks it looks very good very clean layout and so starting here at the top you have your 8 pin power connector for your CPU unfortunately we only get one heat sink here on the VRM on the MOSFETs uh, this is a 4 plus 3 real power delivery system or controller uh, this is the ISL 95712 that they're using here on this motherboard uh, it is rated for up to 120 amps um, it is they are using doublers of course, but you know, it is really four plus three power delivery system So don't think you're gonna get this motherboard and start breaking any uh, overclocking world records because that's just not happening But uh, yeah, nevertheless, it is a decent power delivery system Moving on here to the top you find your four pin PWN CPU fan header. You don't have any LED postcodes or anything like that unfortunately with this motherboard but again, because it's not meant for overclocking. Also, you get your four DDR4 DIMM slots here for your memory. This supports up to 3200 megahertz uh, RAM, but I was able to boot at 3466. Of course, your mileage may vary. You know, I'm not guaranteeing that that's, you're gonna get the same results, but uh, I was able to boot at 3466. So your mileage may vary, like I said. Here at the bottom, you also get your four SATA ports for your drives. You also get your front panel connectors. You get your USB 3.0 front panel connector. You have your USB 2 USB 2.0 ports for your front panel. Uh, you also get your audio uh, port there at the bottom left corner and an isolated PCB with high quality capacitors. And that area there also lights up with the orange, you know, that gigabyte theme orange color, which is really nice, I think, in my opinion. Here you also find your NVMe M.2 slot for your SSD if you choose to go that route. Looking at the I.O. ports here, you have two USB 2.0 ports there at the top left. You got your PS2 legacy uh, port, DVI, you got your HDMI port, four USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, your gigabit ethernet port and your audio out looking at the back of the motherboard there's nothing special here you know really but i did uh see something that caught my eye here which i think is it's nice and uh, i know they've started to do this a lot but uh i see that more and more now that your pci express slots here at the bottom you're using uh, more solder than they used to before before there was just plastic retention points there but now they're using actual solder which is really nice you know it's a stronger pci express slot for your graphic uh, for your heavy graphics cards overall aesthetically speaking i am pretty happy with the looks of the motherboard um, you know it's packed with features essential features that you will need if you want to build a nice little system you know if you if like i said if money is something that is uh, uh, a factor for you 
Diving into the BIOS, you get greeted by the MIT screen here where you have your overclocking settings. Uh, here's where you can change your CPU ratio for overclocking. I know my uh, Ryzen 5 2600 non-X processor can go up to 4.3 gigahertz. On this board, however, I was only able to push it at 4.2 gigahertz and this was not 100% stable I had a massive uh, v-droop and this board does not pack any overclocking features such as low line calibration so you can kiss that goodbye uh, so, so like I said it's, it's, it's just a basic layout basic configuration and another thing here is that I want to point out is that here you're gonna reach a limit at a certain point as you try to turn up the voltage on your CPU you, you're going to encounter a, a warning screen here but all you need to do is just keep keep hitting enter and then plus enter plus enter plus and you you know slowly you keep going keep on going up on the voltage there and it, the message will keep going up pretty annoying but uh, the voltage will go up to uh, 0 0.3 volts which is the maximum that this motherboard here allow you to to do the voltage on the RAM however I, I didn't see a limit to it uh, but you know you want to stick to safe levels uh, whatever that is depending on the type of RAM that you're using and here you have your you know fan control uh, your fan configuration for uh, setting up your fan speeds which is pretty uh, intuitive I like I like gigabyte setup um, you know you have a lot of options here you can you know have a uh, uh, pretty quiet system if uh, you set up your fans correctly and then the rest you know it's just regular simple um, average uh, features that you will need for running your your system so yeah nothing uh nothing that uh stands out here very basic you know easy to use you know clean clean cut uh straightforward bios and uh, here's the motherboard installed this is what it looks like like i said this is a very simplistic look um for the motherboard and therefore i'm not gonna go out of out of my way to install this on a fancy case or anything like that so this is going to be built for someone for a customer who just wants a simple system and this is what he's getting uh, in my opinion this is great this is basic as basic as it gets and uh, pretty stable uh, I like the theme of it I mean the, the system stays pretty nice and quiet and so far at uh, 4.1 gigahertz the processor stays pretty nice and quiet so all right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content coming up in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.